I was wrong in doing what I did. No, 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 no. Are you listening? Sean here, and I recently, I'm having to re-record this, I recently saw a post from somebody that contacted Roy and basically confirmed what we all knew, and every time you contact him, you're going to find out a little bit more. One thing he will not talk about, at least won't go into detail, are Lauren's legal troubles, because I think he doesn't want to get sucked into it, he doesn't want to be associated with it, but he confirmed that Lauren thinks he's a ladies' man, and I think that's half true. I think Lauren wants to believe he's a ladies' man, and the only way to keep up that illusion are these catfish women. He has nobody to talk to, he's lonely, so he talks to all the Church of God members that come out there. I believe Lauren sees his family as a singular unit. If you watch Little House on the Prairie, they all live together, they all contribute. When one of them can't make a big donation to the family, the others take up the slack. Well, for Lauren, we know that's been him his entire life. He's done it for so long that he just thinks it's normal. Paycheck advances, massive debt, living in squalor, which is a term you hear a lot when you live in Eastern Kentucky. Roy will confirm just about anything you need him to confirm or deny it. What he did in high school, what he did in middle school, the girls he terrorized. Lauren's never been a ladies' man. He's never had a true mentor, somebody to help him, and if your longest relationship is two weeks, well, I got news for you, Lauren. It takes more than just, hey, baby, how you doing, to get in their pants 99% of the time, unless they're just looking to cheat on their boyfriend for, cheat on your boyfriend for revenge. When I was in seventh grade, a bunch of ninth graders kind of gave me the rundown of how to land a girl. Now, I didn't really know how to apply it, but... Later on, I remembered some of what they said. You figure out the rest for yourself. Lauren never really had that. And I think Roy is embarrassed to be associated with some bitch like Lauren. My family, the Booths on one side, Salvation Army Booths, they're related to John Wilkes Booth, the black sheep of the family, the one they want to disown. If you go up and look up, if you look up Frederick Tucker Booth in Wikipedia, there's a kid in the front row and he's in blue and he's got a white collar. My mother went pale white because he looks just like me. Every family has that black sheep and Lauren is that black sheep. I can see his mom, you know, I was raised, I love my mom. I'm in love with my mom. I mean, I'm raised by mom. I could see his mom. Over the years, you kind of compromise when somebody keeps telling you they were mistreated. You see how pathetic they are. And your brain goes, oh, I see, that must be half of what they did to themselves and half of the system. Because I saw a news story where another guy went through the same thing. You don't really take into account the circumstances. Maybe you just give them the benefit of the doubt when they don't deserve it. But this is a woman who, during the Casey calls, is dying or very, very sick. Lauren and Roy should be doing everything in their power to get her to a better place, to get her somewhere where she can at least die with some dignity and die happy. I don't know if that's possible to die happy, but you know what I mean. Go somewhere where she's content. Work two or three jobs, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Because if you ask Roy, he tried to get away from Lauren. He tried to get the fuck away from Lauren, go as far as possible, but unfortunately he had his own demons and he ended up back home. And Roy has always been the only guy that would talk to Lauren. Lauren did what he did, and everyone else realized it brought shame on the family. They wanted to distance themselves from this guy. They had kids, they don't want him anywhere near those kids. So when you think about the whole thing, when you think about what Lauren did and why Roy is the only one that will talk to him, Roy can't seem to shake him. Lauren needs Roy. Roy is someone he could depend on to get him a pack of cigarettes, to help him get some beer. As long as he can share the 18 pack. And if Roy's gone, Lauren only has mom. And mom needs her money. I bet if she needed treatments, Lauren would say, Mom, well, you know, doctor said, you know, you only need, like, you could get by with one treatment a month, not two that's helping you. That double dose of medication, Mom, didn't help. Because you're not giving any money to me. That's something I can hear this son of a bitch saying. Everybody he supposedly cares about, he rages at. They're the only people he can get that out on. There is nobody else. 
he has no enemies in real life because the, no one even cares enough to be his enemy. No one cares enough to be in his vicinity to give him a target, to give him somebody to unload all of that on. So he just does it on the people he thinks are going to stay around. And part of the reason I think he freaks out when the catfish aren't willing to have anything to do with them is because he has nobody to live out his fantasies that he's a ladies' man. He has nobody to yell and scream at. All of this has come to the forefront. It's pretty obvious if you take a step back and you look at the whole situation and what he does when he has them. Knock, knock. Who is it? Church of God. Open it up. Come on in, boys. You got a recording device? Um... No? Oh, good enough for me. Come on in. That son of a bitch put me on the internet. Of course they did, Lauren. And I think you know they did. I think you know. We talked about it. That he needs his presence on the internet. Without it, imagine going on the internet like in the movie Wanted. Typing in your name. If it was important to you. If it was important to you. If that was your identity. Typing in your name. No results come up. Lauren Armstrong, had it been, not been for the sting, might have that to this day. And the only Lauren Armstrong that would come up is the military service member that I used a picture of that had the same name. I mean, if you type in Lauren Armstrong, most of the time the actor Lauren Green shows up. Without the catfish women, without Raptor Bacon, without all of these content creators that are just kicking ass, Lauren wouldn't show up. To him, that is death. No woman would talk to him, and he would have more real victims. I'm not sure if he displays this behavior around Roy. Jared Fogel from Subway probably would have never gotten caught had he not started making comments about kids, about kids being good looking to the woman he was around. That was a red flag. And so it was reported, and they discovered all of the other things, and we know where he is now. It would be like a celebrity, an aging celebrity, who's no longer relevant, or someone like Danny Bonaducci. And when they search their name, Lol Cow comes up. Someone who was a big star back in the day, you know, when he was growing up, and now nothing. If you've ever seen, I uh, can't remember, Feldman, Corey Feldman. In person, he was at a movie. Uh, I told you it was the one where I got to talk to the Boondock Saints. He was there, and he had two handlers, two sponsors, to make sure he would not be around drugs. That's how far he fell. His childhood was shit. From I believe him, I really do. There, it was rampant. From from all the reports, you can't have that many reports about child stars being assaulted without thinking, you know, hey man, some of this is true. So look where his life ended up. We take a look at Lauren's life and how, and how he got to where he was. A stepfather who supposedly cared about him and his mom, one that caused him to cry, apparently cry when he left. Someone Lauren says he didn't even like that was nothing but a piece of shit. Nothing but a piece of shit, nine months. Someone he cried about that left that seemed to devastate him, according to Lauren, because everything devastates Lauren when anything bad happens. You're not going to believe what fucking happened to me. It's unreal. His lack of self-awareness, his inflated self-image. I keep going back to Dark Side Phil, a guy who was nothing more than a lol cow that a very small community, just like Lauren Armstrong, our channels would have thousands more views than his. But he's, you know, Dark Side Phil still thinks he's relevant and talks about the entire internet making fun of him. And there are tens of thousands of trolls and there are not. There are nowhere even close to that. There's not even close to 5,000 people who are detractors, I don't think. Maybe, maybe more than that, I don't know. But I just think that Lauren is the same way. He still believes that the entire internet is paying attention to what he's doing. I had my big bowl of sugar this morning, you know, because that's what we're doing. I mean, I pulled that sugar out and I just started eating and eating. 
Without these catfish women, he wouldn't have anybody to say this ridiculous shit to. And I'll say Dark Side Bill again. He doesn't leave the house. He admits he doesn't leave the house. His entire world is his prisoner wife and himself. And by all accounts, Kat seems like she's beaten down. When you have somebody you're living with and you are cut off access from the outside world and the only voice you hear is theirs and they're telling you what they say is the truth and they get turned into a rage monster when you don't believe them, eventually you're just going to be like, Jesus, yeah, you're right, you're right, honey, you're right. And that's what Lauren wants. Somebody that's going to look at him and say, yeah, you're right, honey, that happened. The reason you're successful is not because you're a loser, it's because of all the internet and how they're treating you. That's what he needs. I don't understand how you can believe you're a ladies' man and need all of that stuff. If you were a ladies' man, you'd just be bouncing from woman to woman. Maybe he does tell Roy. Maybe the next time somebody talks to Roy, they can ask him, how many women does Lorne come home and say wanted him or were flirting with him? And then when Roy asks him, you know, what you say, you know, what kind of cigarettes do you want? Oh, yeah, we in. We in like Flynn, baby. She's all over me. At some point, he should have figured it out. You think he would change? I mean, going through your entire life having not had sex, that would be pretty brutal on somebody. A huge blow to the ego, and Lauren's ego is very swollen. And he would need that for sure. He would definitely need to feel like he was the man. But he's not the man. He will never be the man. So Roy confirming that he believes he's a ladies' man is not surprising. But again, I think he only half believes it. He wants to believe it. Because as long as that illusion is kept up, and as long as he can say these catfish women not showing up is the only reason he's not married and he doesn't have kids and he's not having sex, he's going to hang on to that. Wake up, Lorne. You're one of the most disgusting looking people on the planet. You have no redeeming qualities. You're not a ladies man. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hang on. I I can't even catch my breath. Hang on.